Welcome to Sechere Dumase of the Edra Sechere Dumase District in the Ashanti region of Ghana. Here, you can see the solar maze dryer. It is a pilot project jointly developed by MOAP and the engineering department of MOFA. In this project, we have two major aims. One, we want to help the farmers to reduce their post-harvest losses. And two, we want to ensure high quality maize for the market. After harvesting, the maize usually has a moisture content between 21 and 23%. At this level, there is a high risk of grains becoming moldy or generating aflatoxins. In such cases, the farmer loses a lot of the initial market price for his maize. To avoid these losses, the maize has to be dried. The perfect moisture level for storage, which generates the highest market price, is 12%. But since it takes a long time to dry the maize from above 20 to 12%, farmers pre dry their maize to about 13 to 15%. This is a safe moisture level to store the maize for a while and complete the drying process. The higher the moisture level of the maize, the lower the prices offered by warehouses, processing companies, and open markets. Usually, farmers dry their maize in the open. Open drying bears high risk for the crop. Sudden rainfalls can spoil the maize or animals can assess it, eat it, defecate on it, and reduce its quality. Open drying also involves high labor cost. Somebody has to be around throughout the drying process, drive away animals, and keep watch of the maize. The solar dryer ensures a cost-effective, more hygienic and secure way to dry the maize. My brother, I am the good police. I try. I go to Tuba. I am the good police. Now my heart, I will not buy. I am the man in the room. I am in the room. Now I am wearing it. Now I see your toes heavy. Now you are going to go to the job. You are going to work from. I am 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 going to work from. I was so tired. I am going to work from. I am going to work from. I am going to work from. Let us have a look at how the solar dryer is working. Before we put our maize into the dryer, we have to check the moisture content. This is necessary to estimate for how long the maize will stay in the dryer. To determine this level, we need to use the moisture meter. We insert a sample of our maize and the meter will tell us the exact moisture content level. In this sample case, the level is 25.4%. Now that we know the exact moisture level, we can estimate for how long the maize has to stay in the dryer. The drying time depends on the weather conditions. But with average weather, our sample maize with a moisture level of 25.4% will take about three days to be reduced to the desired level of 14 to 15%. This is how the solar maize dryer works. The roof is covered with agrelic sheets. The transparent sheets allow the sun rays to enter and trap the heat inside the drying chamber. During daytime, the chamber can heat up to temperatures between 50 to 70 degrees Celsius. The actual temperature depends on the weather conditions. The heat in the drying chamber draws the moisture out of the maze. Vents allow outside air to enter and blow out the moisture. We have waited for three days to dry our maize. Now, we check the moisture level and it is 14.1%, which is a safe moisture level to store the maize for about a month. It can now be sold to warehouses, which will continue the drying process to the desired level of 12%. Some of the maize is also sold 
in the market because the eventuality of becoming moldy is heavily reduced. During the whole drying process, the maize was protected from unexpected rainfalls which could have destroyed the grains or goods and other animals who could have also had an unwanted effect on our crops. So far, our pilot project with the solar dryer is a true success. The farmers are benefiting from lower labor costs and less post-harvest losses. The drying process works much faster since it continues even during night time. The hygienic environment in the dryer ensures high quality of the maize, which brings economic gains to the farmers. The dryer is also good for the environment. It does not consume any fossil fuels, unlike those used by commercial warehouses. The production cost is comparably low. So we are hoping that in future, farmer-based organizations all over Ghana will have their own solar dryers. This would raise the quality standard of the Ghanaian maize production significantly. We think the solar dryer could also be used to dry other commodities like pepper, all kinds of beans, or maybe even fish. We are very satisfied with the results we are getting so far, but we are still experimenting to improve the dryer and look for new ways to use it. Thank you for watching.